In America, we have rights, as a right of my ministerial licenses from two different organizations. I have the right to marry people. I also believe I have the right to marry myself. As a pagan priest, I have the right to be married. As a man, I have the right to choose my high priestess. And I have made an application to a few women who understand a little bit about me, who understand my faith because they either gifted it to me or I gifted it to them or their own name that the Lord has given to me. And openly, I've done that in every way that is honorable as a man. I have kept myself in a celibacy of a priest since I lost my late spouse. I have not participated in any play in any way with any knowledge of doing that. But I do believe people have pawed at me and participated in abusing me, but I don't have full knowledge of that. You see, we have an illegal society today that likes the human traffic and information traffic in every way. But as a priest of the Lord's house, under the Lord's guide, I have a purity of my soul and a purity of my life. I do commune with deities on a regular basis because that is a regard after the first reformation that the Protestants did. It was called the Protestant Reformation. And there are three aspects of priesthoods from that. But I'll talk more about that later. But what one woman wants to know is, can I be married? And the answer is, only if I choose the individual, may I be married. No one else has the right to choose me as someone they're going to marry without my consent, without my knowledge, without, without my access or rights to any document on this. And openly, as a priest in God's house of the Melchizedek order, I have the right to be married, much like Jesus himself.